Hi, I'm here with Bill Keefe, who's General Manager of Namali Resort and Spa here in Fiji. And we're going to find out about this spa, which many of you know about, but may not have seen before. And this is Insider Travel Report. Now, Bill, we just got here. It's a beautiful resort. Uh, we're zooming around a lot of different resorts this time, but yours is, is special and a lot of people know about it. But let's talk about the history of this property. Sure, sure. Uh, well, the property is owned by Tony Robbins, mm -hmm. and he purchased it about 30, 32 years ago. And he initially purchased it as a um, retreat, mm -hmm. uh, kind of a, a think tank place for him to come and uh, research his books, write his books, develop uh, a lot of material that's used in his uh, seminars over okay. the years. And uh, it kind of grew from that. Uh, Tony would uh, in basically invite friends of his from uh, the United States and Canada to come and visit with him here and he'd actually try out a lot of the uh, new material that he was developing and uh, they'd They'd have the morning to do with what, as they like, go fishing, diving, snorkeling, and then in the afternoon, Tony would work with them uh, to develop the, um, the uh, materials. Now, when did it become officially a resort open to the public? Then? Probably uh, over a period between, say, 26, 27 years ago is when it transitioned uh, from just a retreat for himself, his friends, and his family to a fully operational resort. Now, you yourself, you've been here as general manager for about eight years, right? Yeah, we're actually about three months into our ninth year. Wow, so you're pretty familiar with this property, right? Yeah, yes. And I think your kids grew up here, and, and yeah. now your daughter is uh, is the director of sales and marketing too, right? Yes, yes. She uh, she was just graduating high school as we made the move out here, and uh, uh, you know, she did a lot of uh, school from home. She uh, got her um, college degree uh, actually while she was living here in uh, in Fiji. Not a bad, not a bad location. Huh? No, <laughs> not a bad location at all. And uh, yeah, she now represents Namali to the uh, uh, wholesale and retail travel industry and travels all around the world, uh, letting people know about the resort. Now, let's talk about the accommodations because they're pretty unique. You have uh, a mixture of burres, which are sort of the traditional Fiji village. Uh, 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 construction and then you have villas, right? That's correct. We've got a total of 19 berets and villas. Uh, another word for beret might be a cottage, small mm -hmm. cottage. Um, and they're spread out uh, among 250 acres of waterfront property here uh, that the resort owns. Uh, it's, it's not a very dense uh, population of units. Uh, every unit is private uh, and there's a lot of space you know, around them. Yeah, and so they're also unique, right? They're, they're, you sort of, you've, you've built this over time, and so there were, I think you told me there were originally five berets that were more traditional, and then you've built more over time, right? Yes, yes. Uh, the, the, the resort grew kind of in intermittent stages, and um, it, it didn't, didn't realize their full vision for Namali until about 2007. So over that span of years, the number of uh, accommodations grew from five that mm -hmm. were there when um, the, the property was originally built and actually was operating as a coconut plantation to, uh, in 2007 was the last construction uh, where we finished up on uh, the villas, okay. the, the one bedroom villas. And they're all very different and it's, it's, we're gonna take a look at some of them uh, on the tour. Uh, now talk about the dining and, and what, what's available there. Well, uh, we've got a lot of different dining options here at Namali. We have our main beret, which where, uh, is where most people come to have most of their meals. We also have a location on the property called Walu Deck, which mm -hmm. is an alternative place to grab breakfast or lunch. Uh, and it's also the kitchen that services our uh, room service menu and our special dine-outs. Mm -hmm. uh, most guests who come, couples who come, uh, are treated to uh, what we call a, um, a surprise dining out over the course of their stay and we've got five or six different locations around the property where those take place mm -hmm. and uh, those are those are set up as a surprise for the guests they're not quite sure what night it's going to be uh, so that's all we bring it on them and that's it <laughs> yep yep uh, we have uh, in, in addition to the 250 acres that Namali owns on the ocean side uh, across the road we also own another 250 acres of rainforest and Namali actually owns its own waterfall mm -hmm. so guests 
guests also have the opportunity to, to have a breakfast or a lunch served to them at the waterfall. They take a short little hike up there, uh, and then uh, our uh, F&B team has a, a nice lunch or breakfast set up for them right alongside the waterfall. So that's an, that's an option. Um, and uh, they can guests can they find any spot on the property they like uh they can they can arrange to have a, a meal there that's uh, great no that's an, especially for a more romantic honeymoon or, or yeah. a couple's it's in and this is we'll emphasize is a couple's uh, or or adult only resort right that's that's correct 16 yeah. years old is the minimum age for coming to namali um it's uh they give the adults a break okay <laughs> now what, what are some of you talked to some of the activities like the waterfall but what are some of the activities that guests will engage in here oh there's 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 a lot to do here at Namali. Uh, it, there's tennis. We uh, we have a nine-hole golf course uh, that's over on the the property near the rainforest. We have a wide variety of water sports. Uh, we have a, a an excellent professional level scuba diving operation on property. A uh, daily snorkeling trip that goes out on our, our boat, the Namali Pearl. Mm -hmm. uh, there are uh, stand-up paddle boards, sea kayaks. Uh, uh, we have water sports. Uh, where people can go water skiing or kneeboarding. Uh, we have uh, a number of wonderful hiking trails throughout uh, the uh, rainforest property. We have horses and go horseback riding. Um, uh, we have a, a, a great game room. Yeah, uh, I heard about this. You have you have the only bowling alley possibly in Fiji, yeah. and also an indoor basketball court. Right? We, that is correct. <laughs> we have an indoor basketball court. We have the bowling alley. We have a state of the art golf simulator in mm -hmm. case someone doesn't want to go brave the elements and. Mm -hmm. it, play a little golf while they're sipping on a cocktail or, or having a bit of a snack um, and in billiards and we've got a, a fully equipped physical uh, fitness facility here also and a spa uh, and a spa and a spa and everything that I've mentioned outside of the spa treatments and sc actually scuba diving uh, is included in someone's packages there's no additional charges yeah and you do you are a little different from a lot of the other surrounding resorts so that you are pretty much all inclusive right yeah yeah, uh, the the owners had a, a, a vision of what they wanted guests to experience when they got here, and you know, worrying about their hotel bill adding up wasn't one of those things. Including alcohol, right? Yeah, in, yeah including alcohol. Uh, so um, it's it's pretty much an all inclusive. We have a lot of guests who check in, you know, leave a credit card imprint at check in, check in, and it's at zero balance when they check I out. Li I like that kind of stay, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. It's it's good to to know. Um, you know, to know what's coming up and, and not have any surprises when you check out. So, Bill, what are the secrets of really enjoying this resort? Uh, probably the, the number one secret is to give yourself enough time. Don't, don't rush this, this trip. Give yourself a good seven days here on the property, especially if you're traveling from long distance away from North America, Europe. Um, even even from Australia, it's still a four-hour flight here. Um, it takes a day to get settled in. You're usually crossing time zones, if not going across the international date line to get here. Um, so it takes a day or so to, to settle in and, and get yourself into that re relaxed state. So you're not just rushing around trying to get, tick all the boxes in three or four days. Um, when we have when we have guests who return, uh, they almost always add three or more days onto what their previous stay was. No, and it's that's a good recommendation, especially since if you're coming from the U.S., you got to take a flight to Nandi, and then you take a small. It's not that far to come to this right. island, which is uh, which another, is, another hour. It's another about hour. A, so there, there are two. If, in case it, I I didn't know this, the two main islands, and we're on the Vanuatu. We're on Vanua Levu. Vanua the, Levu. Right. And and it's about the same size as Viti where Nandi, the international airport, is and Suva, the capital, is, but it's uh, nowhere near the population density. It's a, it's a sparsely populated island. It's got two uh, very nice towns on it where Savu Savu is here kind of on the uh, the guest and tourism side, and over on the other side of the island is Lombasa. Well, and also yeah. some great resorts, and yours is yeah. certainly one of them, an amazing property that a lot of people have heard about but may not know directly. But, Bill, thank you very much for filling us in. Uh, is there anything else that travel advisors should know, do you think? Um, it I, I think most of the travel advisors uh, traveling, you know, like yourself and, and others that come and visit, um, get a pretty good, uh, you know, uh, 
layout, they, they know the resort, they know uh, the amenities. Um, if I were to give any uh, advice, it would be to the traveler. Okay. And to the traveler, this is definitely a de uh, destination that you want to, you know, reach out to a, a knowledgeable travel professional to help make those arrangements because there's a lot of different things uh, about Fiji and about the, the, especially if you're coming from the Northern Hemisphere and, and these people know the, know the lay of the land and, and can really uh, make it a smooth trip for you. Well, that's great advice, Bill. Again, thank you for hosting us here. It's been a, it's, it's a too short visit, but we're getting a good idea about Namali, and you will too on this video, hopefully. Good to see you. Thanks very much. Great to see you. Thanks a lot. I'm James Schellinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report. <laughs>